Video 3, Insulators. There are a lot of types of insulators out there, and it can be confusing as to which one fits your situation properly. We cannot demonstrate how to use every type of insulator, or we'd be here all day. What we can offer is a guide to the selection criteria, and a way to find the right insulator for you. An important first distinction is to calculate how many corner insulators you will need. Corners require their own type of insulators, and regular line post insulators will not work properly. The exception to this rule is for a small garden fence, which can use regular insulators. If you're using a round conductor, such as wire, polywire, or poly rope, you will use a double U-channel insulator featured here. It attaches around just about any type of post and creates a corner on the inside of the enclosure. If you're using poly tape, you will use tensioners at your corners. This will help keep your fence tight and give it an elegant appearance. You will need specialty insulators for your ends as well as your corners. If you're using a round conductor, the W channel can do this as well. If you're using poly tape, then you should use a specialty end insulator as shown here. The next guideline is your post type. If you have step-in posts, they have built-in insulators and do not require an additional attachment. For other posts, select an insulator which will attach to your post type. Vinyl posts are screwed into or are hugged around the back. Fiberglass posts can be screwed onto or snapped onto. Wood posts and trees are usually screwed into or nailed into. T posts and U posts have specially designed insulators which fit over their top and slide down. Chain link posts or pipes can be clamped onto and mesh garden fencing can be pinched. Some insulators hold the conductor further out so that the conductor doesn't contact the posts and ground out. If your posts are vinyl, plastic, or fiberglass, then this is not a concern because they do not carry electricity. However, if they are wood or metal, they must not be allowed to touch the conductor. Once you have your insulators screwed on, nailed on, or snapped on, you are ready to begin stringing your conductor.